Hey everyone. Um, okay, so we are getting ready to get into uh, our new unit. <clears throat> I'm sorry, our new lesson. <laughs> we have not made it to our new unit yet, but we are marching forward in unit five and we are getting ready to continue in unit five. Now, <clears throat> I want to talk a little bit about um, what this next lesson is about um, in Unit 5. This whole time in Unit 5, we have been talking about places around town, right? And we've been talking about, um, you know, places in your neighborhood. Um, we just did a lesson on Sandra's neighborhood, places in Sandra's neighborhood, and so now we're going to talk about your neighborhood, your town, your city, so that you can know how to talk to people about your neighborhood and your city, your town in English. So let's start with what are some places around town? What are some places around town? Some places that you have to go to around town in your neighborhood. Some places around town, if you have young children, <clears throat> you want to take them to a daycare center. Excuse me. You might want to take them to a daycare center, right? If you have, especially if you have to go to work and you can't take them to work with you, <laughs> right? <clears throat> You take them to a daycare center. If you don't have to take them to work with you, then you might want to take them to the park. So in your town, there you might have a park, you know, in your neighborhood. Um, depending on how old they are in your town, and this is, of course, if you have kids, but if you don't have kids, that's okay, too. In your town, you might have a high school. In your town, you might have a middle school. You might have a hardware store. A hardware store is a place you go to buy tools, usually tools that you can use to maybe fix your car or, you know, fix something in your house. There might be a university. There might be a university in your town or near, near where you live. There might be an elementary school, and there might be a senior center. These are just some places that you can find around town. Now, what I want you guys to start doing is I want you to try to write down new vocabulary words. So if these vocabulary words are new to you, I want you to um, write them down. And, you know, of course, if you have any questions, Place your questions in the YouTube video, in the comment section of the YouTube video. So we are actually going to talk about places around town. Um, you know, some places that might be important to you that might not be on the list. You might want to go ahead and write some of those places down also. Um, maybe... You might want to write down a bank. A bank is a place around town. A grocery store is a place around town. Um, you know, a uh, church. A church is a place around town. So these are some places around town. So we are actually going to be spending some time right here on page 65 in your student book, and um, then we're going to talk about, you know, a few, a few other things. But we're going to spend some time here on page 65 in your student book. And uh, exercise four, it says, picture dictionary, places around town. And it says picture dictionary because you have pictures, right? that um, 
have a certain look that you can say, oh, based on this picture, I know exactly where this place is, right? So what it wants you to do is it wants you to look in this word bank right down here. So exercise A, write the words in the picture dictionary. Then listen and repeat. So write the words in the picture, di picture dictionary, then listen and repeat. And so let's first look at the words in the word bank right here. And I've written them down over here also, um, just in case you can't see them in this little small section right here. But here we have, and please repeat after me, an apartment building, an apartment building, a courthouse, a courthouse, a daycare center, a daycare center, a hardware store, a hardware store, a high school, a high school, a playground, a playground, a police station, a police station, a senior center, a senior center, a shopping mall, a shopping mall. So these are the words in the word bank. And let's look at the pictures and see if we can tell from the pictures which one of these should go in which column. But first, let's talk about the pictures. So number one, they've already given us the answer, but let's take a look at the picture. You have someone going down an escalator. You see stores in here. You have people. There are two different levels, level one, level two. You have people walking around, a lot of people walking around. So this, number one, is a shopping mall. A shopping mall. This one is pretty easy. <laughs> this one is pretty easy. They pretty much give you the answer right here with this picture because it says high school. I didn't know they would make it so easy for you. <laughs> so this one we can tell right here, high school. This one, we see someone here. We see a teacher. And then we see some young kids all sitting around at a table. All right, so that's what this picture is. The teacher, and then you've got about five or six young children sitting at a table. They look like they're doing some work. Here you have a picture with a few older people sitting around talking and smiling. They look happy. Here you have kids again, and um, they look like they're having a lot of fun. They're outside and they're playing. Right? They're outside and they're playing. They look like they're having a good time. This one is kind of like this one. It just gives the answer. You see right here, a police station. I guess they didn't want to show someone getting handcuffed. <laughs> but this one is a police station. This one is a tall building, very tall building. These, this looks like balconies out here, like balconies out here. So it looks like a tall building with balconies on it. Um, hmm, I wonder what that could be. This one, you see a gentleman. He's just kind of standing around, but what are these things behind him? It looks like some different tools and, and stuff like that. So he's looking like he's happy someone came into his store. And he wants to sell someone some stuff, right? And then this is a very um, official looking building. It looks very official. Um, so 
hmm, wonder what this building is, right? So take these words. If you have already completed this assignment, um, great, we are about to go over the answers. But if you have not completed the assignment, go ahead and pause the video and um, complete the assignment and then come back and we are going to answer the questions in the next slide. Okay, great. So here's the next slide. And number one, we already said is a shopping mall. Number two, pretty easy. So number two's answer is a high school. A high school. All right. All right. Number three, a daycare center. A daycare center. Number four, a senior center. A senior center. Number five, a playground. A playground. Number six, a police station. A police station. Number seven, an apartment building. An apartment building. Number eight, a hardware store. A hardware store. Number nine, a courthouse. A courthouse. Okay, so those are the answers to these questions. I want us to pay attention to down here a little bit where it says culture note. Culture note. Most elementary school students are 5 to 10 years old. I have a nephew. He just finished fifth grade. That is the end of elementary school um, in the U.S. is fifth grade. Middle school, most middle school students are 11 to 13 years old. Middle school starts from sixth grade and goes to eighth grade. And then most high school students are 14 to 18 years old. And of course, high school is ninth grade to 12th grade. Awesome. Okay. So I want to talk about something here for a second because you notice right here we have this little word in front of our places. A shopping mall and this little word an apartment building. These are what are called articles in the English language and I want us to talk a little bit about using articles. And so we are going to talk about that because it's a really important um, a really important concept, a really important thing that we have to do in English. The articles, <clears throat> um, we're, so we're going to study this topic just a little bit and talk about how to use and when to use articles. So first we have a or a, it can be pronounced either way, a or a. We use this with singular countable nouns that start with a consonant. We use an with singular countable nouns that start with a vowel. And then we have two other articles, the and this Z actually stands for zero. Um, and I want us to take a look at when and how to use these articles. So 
Let's go over here for a second. And this I thought was a really good website for explaining the use of articles. Now, something I want to point out here is this word general. Okay. And um, we're going to talk about this. So it says there are three articles in English. And the reason it says three is because A and N are used the same in the same way. There's only one difference. And so these are considered one article. Then we have the, which is considered another article. And then you have this word zero. Now we don't use the word zero. It's just that because of the rules, you don't use an article at all um, with certain words. So let's talk about the rules, the example, and the explanation. First, we're going to focus on uh, a and an, or a and an. So first, when we use it, we use a and an for singular countable nouns when the listener, the person you're talking to, doesn't know which one we're talking about yet. So here's a good example. Let's see a movie. Let's see a movie. Now, the other thing I want to point out here that I mention in my slide that they don't say here is that we use a with a word that starts with a consonant. We use a with a word that starts with a consonant. We use an with a word that starts with a vowel. We use an with a word that starts with a vowel. And I'm going to, just to um, point this out, I just want to show right here, we have an apartment building. So apartment starts with apartment starts with a vowel a so we use an apartment building the other thing i want to point out is when we use an and then we go to the next word we actually link the sounds here so with a you stop before you say the next word. A shopping mall. A pause shopping mall. A shopping mall. With an, you link the sounds. So you just keep going. An apartment building. An apartment building. An apartment building. With um. So yes. Yeah, so with the an, an apartment building, you link those sounds and you keep going, okay? So we use uh, a or an with singular countable nouns when it's very general. We don't know which one we're talking about yet. So here's an explanation. Movie is a noun. It's singular, so one movie. It's countable. You can count it, one movie. And it's the first time we talk about the movie, so the listener doesn't know which movie yet. It could be any movie, a movie, all right? We use the for a specific noun. Both the speaker and the listener know which one we're talking about. And we can use it for any noun, singular or plural, countable or uncountable. Example, I love the book you gave me. I love the book you gave me. Explanation, it's a specific book. Both the speaker and the listener know which book we're talking about. So if the book is um, I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings, I love the book you gave me. The listener and the person talking both know that the name of the book is specific. It's I know why the caged bird sings. And 
they both know which one. All right, another one. I explained it to the students in my class, specific students. Students is plural in this case. So here the book is singular. Here the students is plural. But that doesn't really matter. All right? She gave me the information I wanted. Specific information. Information is not countable. You don't say one information, two information. No, no, no. Information is an uncountable noun. Okay? And it doesn't matter. She gave me the information. Um, the other thing I want to point out is how you pronounce it. So with the, you can say the or the. And the only rule here is if the word starts with a consonant, you say the, the students. If it starts with a vowel, you say the, the information. Just like with an, you join the sounds together. But with this one, there's a little Y sound that you add in here, the, the information. So any, any word that starts with a vowel, you use, you say the, you add a little Y sound and you just continue the sound all the way through. And then last but not least, we have what I call, or we, what they call zero article, what American English calls zero article. And we use it when there's no, you don't need an article at all. We use zero article when we're speaking or writing about something in general about all the members of that group. So here's an example. I love cats. So this is in general about all the members of the group. So the group is cats. I love cats. All cats. Okay? So this means I love all cats or I love cats in general. Okay, so I just wanted to make sure that we had an understanding of a and the or the and zero count. And um, let's continue on with unit five in the next session. All right, see you guys soon.